Welcome to another property for sale in Piemonte. Now this is one I often get asked for, a smaller house that needs restoration, but it has lots of character and this house fits all of that. It's a beautiful little place located less than 10 minutes from where I live and we chose this area very deliberately because we didn't want to be isolated. We didn't want to be in outer Langa where it's far from everything. If you find a lot of houses for sale there, it's usually because people regret buying them because they realize it's difficult to get anywhere, but not here. We'll come to distances in a moment, but the nearest town is two, three minutes from here. There you can see the layout of the land. There are other parcels of land as well included, but you can see there's a front and a rear garden and also these buildings opposite. Here's the property. It has neighbors, but it's very quiet, very peaceful place. This is a farming community. The house does need restoration. Uh, you could tear it down, but it'd be a shame to lose some of the features that it has that we'll come to in a moment. Here's the front garden. Let's go inside and to the right of the stairway, we have this kitchen, dining room. You can see people lived here very basically, simple heating, simple food preparation area. But it has these beautiful brick vaulted ceilings. Every room has these. And then to the left of the stairway is this living room. And we can see this uh, leaking plaster, uh, but it all can be restored. And upstairs we have three rooms. To the left is this bedroom. Again, beautiful brick vault ceilings. Uh, take the plaster off and you've got lovely brickwork under there and cuttle floors here as well. And this, look at these beautiful doors, well worth restoring. And this is an entrance way to the loft space, but we won't go up there. You can see there are cracks, but of course a good builder can fix that. And to the right are two more rooms. I didn't video it, I somehow overlooked it, it was an extremely hot day, so uh, forgive me for that, but I'll show a few pictures here. And you can see there are two very nice rooms, uh, fireplaces with the brick floor, the vaulted ceilings, uh, very, very nice rooms can really be made into something special. And then we have this uh, third room. Same features as the others, the nice tiles, uh, the vaulted ceilings, these old wooden doors, all can be recuperated and made into something really beautiful. Some serious cracks, but a good builder can sort those. And here's a view over the courtyard. It's a very nice place. And here we're back on the ground floor to the right of the kitchen, and this is the old stable. Again, it could be converted into living space. There's also a loft space above this as well which could be made into living space. So you've easily got an apartment here. Beautiful deep vault ceilings with wooden beams. And then there's another room at the back. Again, brick floors brick vaulted ceilings. Let's take a look outside again. We'll come to those two buildings at the moment, these two parts. These can all be converted to living space as well. It's a very big area. Great potential there. And then to the left, we have this, uh, let's call it a cellar. It's not underground but it's a great place for storing food or wine or making it into a dining room. Again, the, those brick vaulted ceilings, you can see them there, they've not been plastered. Um, fashions change and uh, in the past, it was more desirable to have them uh, plastered, but not now. 
And we have these lovely brick shelves, some very old wine bottles. And this old oak barrel, I, I don't know what the numbers are, maybe his number of wives. But uh, I'm sure they'll leave all of these old things, nice features, and this beautiful, beautiful ceiling. And then to the rear of the house, we have this other area, a covered area, which uh, again should be possible to close this in to make another room. And this is to the left of the, uh, the wine cellar and behind the living room. And this beautiful garden, very, very private, very quiet. Uh, the road past the house is very quiet. There's no passing traffic, only a place for a pool or beautiful dining areas back here. There's a doorway to the wine cellar. And back to the front again, let's have a look at these buildings. You can see the blue house is the neighbor, but uh, it's facing the other way. And you can see this is a big space. Uh, could be made into living space. Uh, again, this could be a separate apartment, maybe even two. So there's lots of potential on this house. A great project. If you want to start a YouTube channel for restoration, I think this could be a real winner. It's a beautiful property. And like I said before, location. Location is everything. And this house is really great with the location. It's easy to buy in isolated places, but uh, it soon becomes a, quite a chore uh, to live in these places where you have to travel on long windy roads to get to anything, but not with this house. You can see the door to the loft above the, uh, the cow shed there. And that's the property. You can see here the distances. Uh, the local town is two minutes. It has a small supermarket. The doctor's surgery is there. Uh, our own doctor, actually. Uh, Asti is 20 minutes. Alba, 35 minutes. And Torino, 45 minutes. No problem at all. And it's a beautiful landscape. If you love walking, if you love nature, it's the perfect place. More details on my website. Get in touch if you need more information. I'd like to see it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please click like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and intend to get a lot more videos out very soon. Bye for now.